Today we're going to talk about a water tower that was in the Durango, Colorado yard. Um, it's not there anymore, as most of the structures aren't. Um, Durango is one of the few places that you can actually see some of the stuff still in existence. Uh, unfortunately, this building is not. Uh, it was a water tower used for the narrow gauge Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad. Uh, it, it had a single spout on it. It had another spout added for a movie, but it's my understanding that that spout was never actually functional. Um, and the uh, roof on this uh, tank was an uh, octagonal shaped roof. Uh, there was some Rio Grande Southern tanks that were very similar to this tank. Uh, the Rio Grande Southern tended to use round roofs. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started on the uh, water tank. And this is going to be really focused on the modeling side of it. Um, that's pretty much the uh, historical side. Uh, the picture that you see here, I found off the Denver Public Library website. Uh, it shows the water tank as it appeared when it was in use. Um, use your library, uh, modeling clubs, there is a ton of resources on the web. Reach out, ask questions. Uh, people are pretty free to uh, help you out, especially if they know that you're modeling something. Um, so the instructions include uh, a diagram of the uh, legs and I use the diagrams as essentially a template. I didn't photocopy it, you could. It was, certainly would keep the instructions a little more pristine, but I built the legs directly on the instructions themselves. Once you have two assembled, um, this will uh, allow you to build one of the four assemblies. Uh, you'll notice that there is a brass wire uh, in between. Uh, the legs and at uh, the ends of those is some nut bolt washer castings. Um, sometimes you'll see them NBW. That will essentially complete one of the four assemblies. The four assemblies that go together, here they're positioned in roughly the place where the deck is going to sit on top of them. Um, uh, making sure everything is trued up and nice and square and flat will help you quite a bit in the steps that come along. The deck is shown here. This will sit directly on top of the four legs that uh, assemblies that uh, we saw in the previous photo. This is a fairly straightforward build. Uh, just getting the angles right, using the instructions as a uh, template. Uh, th that guide helps quite a bit. So once you finish this piece, then the joists will sit directly on top of that. And they're, they're placed at a 90 degree angle to the deck, so they're just straight up and down, a lot like you would build a deck in the back side of your house. Um, so just take your time, get the, each one of these spaced right, use the instructions again as a template, uh, it'll help quite a bit. Once you get that step complete, the legs will glue directly onto the um, bottom side where the uh, joists were, or where, yeah, where the joists were. Um, that f entire assembly is the bottom piece of the um, water tank, the water tower itself. There, these castings come with a kit. Um, you can see they're spaced out roughly how they're going to get attached. Uh, I've painted them gray in advance. Uh, that'll help a little bit. You'll also notice that the um, the legs and the joists, etc., haven't been painted yet. Uh, that took quite a long time. Um, if you paint the wood in advance, that might speed things up. I wanted to make sure all of it got uh, colored and I wanted to make sure that everything was um, 
did I didn't have to scrape glue off to glue its pieces together and that type of thing. You'll also notice that there's a box in the center of this. That box is where the uh, water pipes would come up through the ground and um, stop the uh, water from freezing in those pipes. But essentially, um, after the uh, entire assembly was painted and uh, everything glued together, uh, now it's time to start on the water tank. Now the water tank wasn't quite round in the one that I got, so I have put a uh, cut a round piece of plastic and then pulled it up through the tank just to true it up. Um, that was uh, pretty handy. Um, there's uh, paper strips and um, some castings that come with a kit. Uh, you can use that and attach those. Um, the water tank here is glued to the feet. This was pretty straightforward. Uh, again, just take your time, make sure everything sits. At this point, you should see if the water tower is a little crooked, you might have to take your foot off and trim it down a little bit. But at this point, um, you are pretty much done with the major assembly. Uh, here you can see one of the water spouts. Again, there was two for a period of time, but I'd have, I don't think that um, it was something I wanted to model. I just want to keep the one spout on it. Plus, for operation sake, I'm going to use just the spout that's in operation anyway, so it seemed kind of pointless to add a second one. The uh, water tower here is completed. The Most of the construction uh, you can see here. Uh, the casting on the top, I use the, uh, the resin casting instead of building it myself. Uh, it did take a little bit of time to clean it up, but once it was cleaned up and painted, it uh, looks fantastic. Now it's time to decal. So Microsol and Microset uh, will help you on this. Uh, the the roof, I'm sorry, the sides are not really that recessed. So to get the decal to adhere uh, is pretty easy. Really, I the only issue I had was just shooting it with a with a coat of dull coat once the decal was in place, but unlike the some of the other kits that I've built, this one was actually uh, responded pretty well to the Microsol. Uh, the surface really doesn't have a lot of undulations in it. So once I got the kit completely done, I then started looking how I was going to mount it. So. One of the things that I'm doing is I'm mounting all my kits to a piece of uh, oak. Um, if I decide to move the tank around, I want to move, be able to just pry up the oak. I don't want to try to pry up the uh, kit itself. So piece of oak on the bottom side got a coat of uh, finish that allows it to sit on the layout. I'm going to cut it into some foam and make it flush with the top but on the bottom side I'm hoping that this will help get it so that it's easier to pry up so anyway that's the uh, steps that I went through and I appreciate everybody tuning in and checking this out thanks for watching and we'll see you next time